Are you concerned about your baby's development because you've had a very complicated pregnancy and traumatic birth history for your baby? Wondering, is there something wrong with baby because they seem to be drowsy and sleeping all the time and when they are awake, they seem really stiff and irritable and just not moving much. Hi there, it's Nisha from My Favorite Physio. In today's video, I'm jumping in to share with you a word of encouragement if you've experienced a very complicated pregnancy and traumatic birth history for your little one. So here at My Favorite Physio, we see lots of babies and toddlers. Unfortunately, not every pregnancy is smooth sailing and there are moms who present with babies who've had a complicated pregnancy history as well as a traumatic birth history. As a result, mom is consciously aware because they have been told at the hospital that your baby has suffered some brain injury because the traumatic birth meant that baby didn't get enough oxygen to their lungs and to their brains. Or perhaps they've been told that when baby was delivered, there was meconium in the amniotic fluid, meaning that baby had been distressed and pooed in the womb when they were being delivered. Now, all of this often indicates a higher risk for cerebral palsy, but nobody can really predict what's happening for your baby until we see baby move and develop. Having said that, moms can be very concerned. They've noticed baby is more sleepy and drowsy, and so they're worried that their worst nightmare is happening. Now, unfortunately, we cannot turn back time about the whole pregnancy or even the birth history. What we can do though, is we can have a look at your baby, carry out a full assessment, and determine if your baby needs some early intervention pediatric physiotherapy to help them learn to move better and achieve their milestones and help their brains learn the right pathways so that if there was any brain injury that has happened during the birth, that we can actually minimize the impact on your child's gross motor skills and development. So what we would do is to carry out a full assessment to see if their gross motor skills is age appropriate. And sometimes you will be surprised, but your baby is actually doing what they should be doing for their age. What we would also do is to have a feel of their muscles, have a look at their movements to see if we see any abnormal tremors or movements in their arms and legs. We would look at the quality of movement if they're stiff or if they're floppy. We would feel their muscles to see if there was increased tone or there was decreased tone. All of this is taken into consideration when we plan a treatment program for your baby. Early intervention makes a difference and it helps babies learn the right movement pattern so that they can learn to move better. We've had many babies who's come in here with diagnosis of severe brain injury and they've been said to not be able to function. And yet with early intervention, starting as early as one month old, we have been able to help our babies move well and hit all their milestones so that they are actually developing well despite any history of brain injury. Now that would put your child at their best potential. And it is crucial that your little one also gets early intervention for speech and language and occupational therapy for fine motor skills. If you're out there and you've got a little baby that's had a traumatic birth history or a complicated pregnancy history, don't stress. The best thing to do is to actually see an expert pediatric physiotherapist because early intervention is key. And we see many little ones successfully develop and achieve their gross motor skills and get up to school age and be very minimally impacted by that early brain injury. If you would like to speak to one of our expert pediatric physiotherapists, the number to ring is 
4233. And if you know somebody out there who's just had a baby and had a really challenging time with their birth history, why don't you like and share this video with them. Until next time, have a fantastic day. Bye.